Okay, so this is the 2018 uh, Suzuki V-Strom 1000 XT. Um, I've had it for 500 miles now, um, so just want to um, give my kind of first thoughts review about the bike, really. Um, so I've ridden it on motorways. Um, I've ridden it around um, the the borders in Scotland, so I've done some country roads. I've even done a bit of a supermarket run. First impressions, absolutely great, absolutely great bike. Um, Consider it's 1000 cc, it's really light. Uh, really comfortable to ride both on the motorways and on the twisties as well really really enjoyed it the engine really really smooth loads of low down grunt uh, for, from the power band which is really kind of just what you want for a big adventure bike so I've got the full touring model with the um, two side boxes and top box great even with the weight of that on um, I've loaded them up today um, out here at um, Kielder National Park or from the National Park and um, still handles really really well uh, I've even done some off-road with it and um, taking it on some gravel tracks um, and you know it's a it's, it's a heavy bike right it's thousand cc but um, handled it extremely well it's still got um still got road tires on uh, in terms of performance everything you expect from it um thousand cc adventure tourer um, you know plenty to, to get past all the uh, lorries and trucks on the country roads plenty just to sit at a, at a good speed on the motorway without any effort at all um, fuel range is really good um, get about 210 220 miles a tank which is what I've been getting not riding you know um, ridiculous um, but still really really good um, got an adjustable screen on the front so it's got three different places you can put the screen and um, so depending on where you want it you can also manually lift it up as well which I think is a really good feature um, traction control so three-point traction control either on uh, dry or wet I've not had a chance to use it in the wet yet but everything from that is really good ABS as well which I had to use this morning when someone pulled out on me um, and really responsive puts a lot of faith in the bike it's really quite um, it makes it feel a lot easier to to, um, to ride than other bikes that I've been on um, but really really rated so far yeah, so I mean styling, really like the styling, it's got the kind of beak that they've put on it um, in the latest model which looks a little bit better. Um, colouring I think looks really good unless you're out in National Park and you get every single bug trying to attack you. Um, but yeah, really um, really good bike, really like it. Um, I've got a big trip to do on it in the summer, but first impressions it's great, really really enjoy riding it. Um, even seat height, so uh, you know I'm, I'm 5'10", so I'm bang on average height. Seat height, you can still get both feet down just. Um, so it's good seat height for a taller rider, I think it'd be fine to ride. Um, I've just got the stock seat on, so there's nothing you need to do there, but it kind of gives you quite a lot of confidence. But you know, it, makes, it makes you ride a little bit better, even when you've got that little bit of height, because it makes your feet up on the pegs. Um, done some standing as well on some of the, the gravel roads, and um, yeah, sort of um, gives, you, gives you confidence really. A um, lot of power in the, in the engine to push, the, push away the gravel. Again, only got um, kind of road tyres on, so need some 50-50s, but overall, Really, really good bike. Really like it. Um, really looking forward to taking it away. Um, first impressions for you know for under ten thousand pounds, which you can get them for. What a fantastic bike, brand new. Um, can't can't fault it really. Um, everything that I've had so far. We see how it how it goes. Um, once I get to eight thousand miles in a couple of weeks. Um, but fantastic everything so far. Um, hand guards helpful for keeping keeping some of the wind and some of the bugs off. Really, really good. Um, just overall style, and I just really like it. I think the old V-Stroms didn't really quite, didn't really quite look like an adventure bike. It almost looked like they'd kind of got a Yamaha TDM and just um, put a bit of a, more of a fairing on it. But this, I think, really looks like an adventure bike. I really like the styling. Boxes in the right size, probably not as big as um, as boxes you'd get if you just had standard Gibby boxes. But you know, enough to get all your kit in, uh, which I think is just what you want. Um, no, really good bike. Really like it so far.